Hi everyone, it's Linda McKenna from Golden Rule Senior Placement Services coming to you today with Tuesday Talks. This happens to be a very special week um, and it is actually Golden Rule Week. And it's from April 1st through April 7th and we're into the second day of uh, Golden Rule Week. And what is it? Um, a lot of people have asked me, Linda, you posted about Golden Rule Week and what is it? So I'm gonna give a little bit of history on it. Golden Rule Week is celebrated from April 1st to April 7th this year to ponder, retell, and act on the saying that has been around thousands of years ago. Do you know that the form of Golden Rule was uttered by the Greek Chinese saga Confucius? That makes the rule older than Christianity itself. The Golden Rule generally states that people should do unto others as they would want them to do unto them. And what rule can be better depict a loving society than that? Well, we um, created our company six and a half years ago. Um, that's why we named our company Golden Rule. And a lot of my clients have also um, heard me say many of times that I understand what they're going through because not only do I know it personally, but professionally, how overwhelming it is. And I would never suggest um, a community or a facility that I could not place my own loved one in. So I believe that. And our motto is we treat our seniors as we would want to be treated ourselves. Our senior population is very special. Um, they are um, that generation of generation X or the, the greatest generation is um, really dwindling. And um, I know the baby boomers are now um, um, very present um, in our society, but that generation from World War II and you know the 40s that they grew, uh, went through a lot of depression and all um, is just a real special generation. So the respect for them and what we do unto them is what we would want for ourselves. Um, they taught us so much um, during our upbringing, um, may it be our grandparents, our parents itself, that um, that we parlay over to our own children and our own grandchildren. So the golden rule is something that should be practiced not only personally in your, your family, but it should be practiced in business as well too. So that's why our company is named Golden Rule. So there was a couple of points of interest that we um, want to talk about this week. Um, I will be featuring it on uh, Facebook each day. And it says actually, why do we love Golden Rule Week? Well, first, number one, it's a virtue. Treating others the way you want to be treated is a trait everyone should have. Virtues like the Golden Rule should be inherent in us. So, I do agree with that. That's how I was brought up is to treat our elders um, with respect, um, but also everybody that we encompass and we uh, meet in life, we want to treat them just the same as we would want to be treated. Number two, it promotes empathy. To want others what we want for ourselves makes us to understand how people feel about some things. Consequently, we are more connected and considerate to them. I couldn't agree more. Um, like I said, from experience a lot with my um, senior loved ones, my mother and father, when they needed placement, I do have a lot of empathy for what families are going through um, in the process of placing their loved one. Um, sometimes they're not ready, the senior themselves. And um, I was on a tour today and we discussed that um, with this wonderful uh, son and daughter um, who is embracing their mom's next chapter. And it comes with a lot of pushback. Mom has been independent for so long and living on her own in her own home. And because of an event, now it propels her to now go into senior living. But today, during our tour, it clicked. Um, the son and the daughter both said, mom is gonna flourish here. 
um, being home alone was not something that was good for her. Her personality, she is outgoing to a certain extent, but she is not an originator. So that being said, being in a place that you're encouraged to participate in activities is something that is going to be great. Um, and especially this community has a wonderful activities director or what they call life enrichment directors. So to see that on the face of my clients, um, two children, it was really heartfelt today. And, um, and I know it's going to be something that's going to be wonderful for a little lady uh, client. Um, number three increases love. When we find out neighbor means well for us as they do for ourselves we tend to love them more and vice versa though this will assist us in the development of healthy and loving relationships with them when you communicate with others you understand what makes them tick right um what what their wants and their desires are and you become a better friend or a better neighbor to them and i couldn't agree more it does increase love you have love and respect for um that person so the golden rule tends to be a more of a philosophy as well too that we should inherit and we should utilize on a daily basis it increases virtue it increases empathy and it increases love um, as I said, particular this tour today, the love that I see with these two children have for their mother and want the best for their mom um, is they would want that for themselves when they're in this situation with their children and um, they want the best for mom. So, you know, it does increase love by all means. Um, how do I say this is how do you start? If this is not you know, something that you're used to, is just step back and see how it feels. When somebody does something for you, um, maybe with love, with empathy, or with virtue, um, how does that make you feel? And if you feel wonderful, isn't it so nice that you could give that same gift for your, um, for your friends? family, um, loved ones, uh, whoever that it may be, it is a gift. You know, it could be a simple gesture, it could be words, it could be touch, and it could be a lot of things. And just knowing that you're there means a lot. So sometimes it's just your presence. And um, that makes all the difference in the world. So I really try to utilize this in my daily work. Um, sometimes I have difficult situations that I have to be a little bit harder on some of the clients because they're not agreeing what maybe the brother wants, the sister wants something different, the other brother up north wants something different. And we're forgetting about really the most important person is maybe the mother or the father that needs placement or needs assistance. Um, so it's not so much that it's about us and what we believe, it's what our senior loved one needs. So that's what needs to be encompassed. Um, I say all the time, it's not a matter if it's gonna happen or when it's gonna happen, let's be prepared. We're gonna have that um, topic um, in this coming weeks about preparing for the future as well. But do it with a virtue, do it with empathy, and do it with love. And the reward back is priceless. Um, I can't wait for my lovely client. She's moving in in two days. This is our first we worked. And I can't wait to see her expression about the apartment that they picked out for their mother. And it is a special apartment um, that just by chance, I always believe that it's God's way, um, that certain things happen in certain timing. But this lady is an avid gardener and she's gonna have her own porch. She overlooks the gardens in this beautiful community and vibrant um, activities that she's gonna be able to partake in as well and care right at her fingertips. So please practice with me the golden rule in your daily work at home, your daily work at work, and just your presence. 
And if you may, please go over to my Facebook. Each day I ask you um, what golden rule that is significant for you. And I'm doing a little bit of a contest. So there will be a golden nugget gift um, at the end of it. But I love to hear a lot of these golden um, tributes as well too and tidbits or nuggets. Um, thank you as always for viewing, um, coming here each Tuesday for Tuesday Talks. Um, as always, I lead you to my website. It is www.goldenrulesenioplacement.com. There you will find my bio, demographics, various options, testimonials, resources, and all these video talks that you could go back um, for the over the last six years of topics that you might be interested. Um, there's also ways of getting in touch with me um, if there's something that you would like to discuss personally or also to su suggest that um, maybe is a topic that we need to um, discuss. April is also Occupational Therapy Month. So next week, that's what we're going to talk about. What is occupational therapy? What is ADL's activities of daily living? And what is the service that can provide for your senior loved one, um, especially for them to have, be able to thrive um, in their, um, their health? Um, so again, have a blessed week. And thank you for coming in my special week of Golden Rule Week. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a blessed one, and thank you for tuning in to Tuesday Talks. See you next week. Bye-bye.